Uh, Brother Noor's second question, he's asking about the authenticity and the pers uh, permissibility of performing what is known as Jalsatul Istiraha. What is Jalsatul Istiraha? It is backed by the hadith of Malik ibn al-Huwayrith, which was reported in Sahih al-Bukhari. And this gives it the highest degree of authenticity. And he said to his companions, among them, the companions of the Prophet ﷺ, after the death of the Prophet, of course. He said, shall I perform to you the Prophet's prayer, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as he used to pray it? So he prayed for rakahs in front of him, them, and they were watching. After he finished the first rakah, and he offered two prostrations for the first rakah, before standing up for a second rakah, and also he did the same thing, before standing up for the fourth rak'ah. So he performed this jalsatul istiraha, which is a short pause, the duration of two to three seconds. After you raise your head from the second prostration, from the first or the third rak'ah, you do not stand up immediately, but rather have this short pause, and then you stand up to the second or to the fourth rak'ah. And after he concluded the prayer, none of the, his companions or the companions of the Prophet ﷺ objected by saying, no, this is something that the Prophet did not do. So from this hadith, Imam Shafi'i and the Shafi'i school stated that this is highly recommended because it is a des description of the Prophet's prayer وسلم, and no companion opposed it or rejected it. Now, other schools of thought say that you should not do it and they depend on the hadith of Wa'il ibn Hujr, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Prophet ﷺ used to uh, uh, pray other than this. So it depends on the school of thought you follow. It depends on what you think and believe that is more authentic. Is it Sahih al-Bukhari or the Sunan, for example, of Ibn Majah, etc. So those who follow this uh, uh, hadith of Malik ibn al huwayrith such as Sheikh al-Albani, and a great number of scholars say that the hadith is crystal clear. So we follow it and we take it as it is. And those who don't simply wouldn't do it. And it's not a big issue of dispute. You want to pray like this, go ahead. You don't want to pray and follow the sunnah. Your prayer is still valid. It's like the dispute between Hanafis and the rest of the world in raising the hands and saying, Allahu Akbar or Sami Allah Alimin Hamidah. They make an issue out of it, and this, there's no issue. If you want to follow this sunnah, alhamdulillah, if you don't believe it's a sunnah, don't do it, akhi. Your prayer is still valid, inshallah. We have